So in this section, we want to take a look at spill zones on the surface. And a spill zone is the ability to define a group of faders on a fader module that can access track types, things like auxes, instruments, VCAs, um, even layouts or, or chunks of layouts, as well as tracks from a different workstation. We can actually have up to eight different workstations connected to your M40, and we can bring up tracks uh, very, very seamlessly within that zone. So the first thing we want to do is actually create the spill zones. And I have a split console, kind of a fader center fader, so it's very uh, easy to make a left and a right side. So depending on your configuration, you may want to reorient things a bit, uh, but that's very simple to do. I'm going to press the settings button, and we're going to go to the surface, and we're going to define our spill zones. And to do that, just come in here and press config, and now left spill. And so it's waiting for us to say, okay, where do you want the left spill zone to live? Well, I'm going to go over here to the far left fader. I'm going to press the attention key, which is currently green, and then it's saying, how many faders do you want in that zone? It could be one, two, X. I'm going to just go for an eight fader zone, very simply, and hit done. OK? So we can see now that we've got a left zone defined. Let's do the same thing on the right side and say config right spill, and now press the in and the out defining that particular spill zone. OK? So now I've got a left and a right. Now what can we do with these particular zones? This is where it gets interesting. I can bring up VCAs. That's a very powerful way to quickly give me my food groups, or in this case, drums, keys, vocals, backgrounds, uh, in, a, in a very logical in, uh, way. So I'm going to press the left spill button. At the top of the master module, you've got dedicated buttons for left spill and right spill. And now I can say track type. And you're going to see all of the track types that exist in that project from audio tracks, uh, um, auxes, masters, VCAs are available. If I press VCA, boom, now check it out. I've got drums, bass, keys, guitars. Uh, I'm just going to go back to my memory locations. Let's go to the pre-chorus, pre-2, and let's just uh, maybe isolate the bass and the drums and hit play. Okay. So I can quickly listen to individual parts of my song, uh, you know, food groups essentially. Now. If you have more members, uh, more VCAs than, uh, than the size of your group, it's very simple. Just use the user one and two buttons, switches at the bottom here, to bank within the zone. So I actually have four more VCAs uh, in addition to the first page. So very, very uh, useful. Now, on the right side of the desk, we currently just have banked tracks. So this is active and it's showing VCAs. Well, I could certainly bank over here and I can access any of those tracks in a banked view just using the switches. Very, very useful. So let's show you a simple way to, to take elements from the left side and put it into the right side of the desk. So for example, let's, let's bring up some of the, um, the guitars. And to do that, I'll hold down the menu button. And by doing so, it gives me the option, would you like to just spill in place? Or do you want me to send those guitar slaves, those members of the guitar group, into a different zone? I'm going to say, yeah, take those and put them in the right zone of the, of the desk. And this is great. So now I want to work on you know, any of these in individual elements. I can say, let's go take a look at the dynamics on this guitar loop. Great. I can go and tweak, uh, take a look at the threshold on this compressor. I've got access. We can you know, start tweaking from here on those tracks. I can even see gain reduction uh, as I start working. And obviously, on the display modules, I've got, I've got that feedback of action actually seeing the clips in real time with the reduction and all that information. Now, you can see visually that the guitar VCA is green. It says, hey, you know what? I spilled into the light green. So the light green is representing that spilled group of guitars. And either pressing the menu switch here or any of these individuals is going to simply collapse the zone and take me back to my previous view. Now, that's a really cool workflow, but we can speed it up. And also, if we take a look at the soft keys, it's still kind of sitting there saying, hey, do you want to try a different track type? Right now, it's looking at VCAs. I'm going to show you a couple quick preferences that will kind of speed up this workflow. And to do that, we're going to go to the settings. And the first one I want to do is if we scroll all the way kind of down to the bottom, um, and there's a, under soft keys, there's something that says auto close surface recall soft keys. What that's going to do, it's going to say, OK, left zone, give me VCAs. Once you've done that action, Close, close that view and take me back to whatever I was doing, which was perhaps you know, automation or track management. So it's, that's, a, that's a very, very useful feature or preference. I also want to show you something called auto spill. And this is fantastic. Basically, automatic spill of attention VCA. So what this is going to do for me, it's going to say, you know what? Just by pressing an attention on a VCA master, 
automatically take the slaves and put them into the zone of my choice. In this case, I'm going to say spill zone right. And so anytime with a single button press, I can literally uh, display all of those members. So hey, I'd like to see the background vocals. Boom, here they are. I'd like to see the drums. Boom, they are, there they are. Just by hitting attention on the VCA uh, master, it's going to auto spill over here, right? And that is a, a really powerful feature. Now the other thing, if we close our, our track types, and, and to close a zone, I'll just show you this, because this is useful, hold down the shift key, and then just press both of the zones, right? So you're closing the right zone, you're closing the left zone. So let's go repopulate the left uh, with VCA. So left spill, once again, press that, and then track types, and then VCA. And pay attention to the track type view here. Went back to automation. Right, so we've turned that preference on that said, you know what, once you choose the track type that you want, great, go away, uh, I need to work. So now what we want to do is let's actually look at the drums. I think that's a, a useful thing to do. I'm going to press drums. It auto spills over here. We're at pre-chorus. Let's just solo up uh, the drums for a second so we can hear what's going on there. We got some really cool, uh, some 808, some electro kick, some kick delays, um, some, some nice stuff. So um, on these tracks, we actually have sends to parallel compressor, right? There's actually parallel compression uh, feeding from sends off of these uh, couple kick tracks. And you can see those sitting right here. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to keep these, um, the drums in this zone uh, visible and accessible and simultaneously bring up that particular track that has the parallel compression uh, compressor on it, right, for the kick. So what I can do is very simply uh, come in here and uh, go back to the left zone and, and basically say, I actually want to see auxes instead of VCAs. And when I've done that, now I can see, OK, we've got uh, kick delay, kick PC. This is actually the track that I want. So I'm actually going to go and grab, and you can actually see the uh, the Massey CT5, and we can bring that up. Let's bring that up in a dynamics view. So I have threshold, I have ratio, I have attack, release, all of that control on that particular um, uh, uh, compression, right? Now I'm going to feed in using the sends off of the kicks. I can feed in, uh, let's just solo those up so we can see the, isolate those. I can feed in uh, those to the compressor and then I can control those um, from, from this side, right? In a, in a view that is representing, um, you know, how much of that compression we need. So we've split the desk into essentially two pieces that allows me to get access to the bus compressor, or in this case, the kick compressor, and then also the drum members that are part of that drum VCA group.